new to the North State, he wanted to check out Lassen Volcanic National Park for his first trip on a tank full. And he took reporter Tracy Leong along. We're out at the beautiful Cindercone Volcano in Lassen Volcanic National Park. And it's about 700 feet from the base to the top, so it's a pretty tough climb, but we're going to see if we can make it, right? Let's go check it out. All right. From the parking lot to the base of the volcano, it's a little more than a one-mile hike along what's called the Fantastic Lava Beds. The hike is definitely challenging with steep, sandy terrain. The path rises starting from about 6,200 feet up to nearly 7,000 feet in elevation. Up here, the air is much thinner than the valley floor and may leave you winded. But with some patience, you can make it to the top. Hey, don't run! You maniac! I wouldn't say you'd have to be experienced at all. You just uh, have to have some patience. You know, you wouldn't want to rush it and uh, bring plenty of water and a snack. It's a great day trip on a budget. The drive from Reading takes just over an hour. Why spend all the money to go all the way down to Yosemite or something when we have a lot of cool playgrounds right here nearby us? This is an extinct cinder volcano. That's one of the four types of volcanoes found throughout the world. Conveniently, all four types are found in Lassen Volcanic National Park. The cinder material that makes up the cinder cone volcano is actually what you call scoria. And it's actually something like you would find in the bottom of an aquarium. And what happened was this molten rock was ejected into the atmosphere and flashed cool, forming this cinder cone volcano about 400 years ago. From the top, the views are incredible. Vistas of towering Lassen Peak, the fantastic lava beds, the picturesque painted dunes, and kayakers taken to Butte Lake. So come on out, folks. It's right in your backyard. Absolutely. And before you head out, it only costs 10 bucks to climb, brings lots of water, but unfortunately, you're not allowed to bring pets. But hey, it's a lot of fun once you get up here. Reporting for KRCR News Channel 7, I'm Trace Leong. And I'm Rob Elvington. If you'd like to experience Cinder Cone for yourself, it's easy to get there. From Reading, you take Highway 44 East past the 8944 split, and after 11 miles, you'll find the sign for Butte Lake Campground. It takes a gravel road six miles all the way to the Cinder Cone Trailhead. I want to see him tackle what Black Butte in Siskiyou County next. We got a local guy to root for.